EMFs. A growing body of scientific evidence shows that the radiation emitted from our devices can be harmful to our health. But that doesn't mean we've got to trade in our iPhones for a landline. In this video, I'll give you four simple tips to reduce your exposure. This episode is sponsored by Defender Shield, the most effective EMF radiation protection for mobile devices ever developed. Okay, let's start with a quick definition. EMFs, or electromagnetic fields, are invisible areas of energy, often referred to as radiation, that are associated with the use of electrical devices. Are they dangerous? Well, if you think about it, we are electrical beings, okay? We're, we've got electrons, and as these EMFs come into our fields, it can cause issues. Um, some people are more sensitive to them than others. I know for myself, for example, it's been years since I've talked on my cell phone directly to my ear because I can literally feel it. I feel like my mind is getting scrambled. So I've taken some actions to offset that. For other people, they don't notice it at all and it doesn't bother them. So it's kind of a personalized thing. And the deal is we kind of are guinea pigs. There's not a ton of data around really the long-term health consequences of these EMFs. Now, in 2011, the World Health Organization did classify EMFs as possible carcinogens in humans. And that was particularly relevant to some studies around brain cancer and cell phone use. In fact, we are exposed to 100 million times more EMFs than our grandparents were. Pretty scary stuff. So we are guinea pigs, but I'm particularly concerned about children because they are more vulnerable, they're smaller, their skulls are thinner. Um, so we just wanna be careful. But I don't wanna sit here and just make everyone paranoid and worried. There are some really simple, easy things you can do to really offset your exposure and the harmful effects. Tip number one, be smart with your smartphone. Did you know that all phones actually come with a warning not to put it directly to your head? In fact, in the iPhone 5 manual, it says to put it 10 millimeters away from your body. But can you imagine someone talking like this? No. Um, so don't use phone calls directly like this. Instead, use speaker. Speaker is phenomenal. You reduce your exposure huge. If that's not an option, then use a headset. Also, think about this on your body. I know so many people that keep this in their front pocket, their back pocket. Some women put it in their bra strap. Um, that is a huge no-no. If you absolutely have to have it on your body, put it in airplane mode. In fact, airplane mode is your friend. Um, if you have this thing at work, set it away from you. Um, so that's a real big key, very simple thing to do. Also, don't use your smartphone as your alarm clock, okay? You want this thing away from you as you sleep. Um, get a battery-operated clock instead. Tip number two, easy on the home Wi-Fi. We used to have our Wi-Fi running all the time, never thought twice about it, okay? It's very common. But something really simple you can do is just turn your Wi-Fi off at night because then at least those eight or nine hours, there's no Wi-Fi signal going out and you're gonna really reduce your exposure. Even better, try a wired option. In fact, we have this awesome router that lets us turn our Wi-Fi on or off with a touch of a button. So when Michael and I work at home, we actually use a wired connection, but then if we wanna watch movies or something like that at night on Apple TV, then we'll turn our Wi-Fi on. Tip number three, get some protection. Now look, I'm not gonna tell you not to use devices. My whole work is online, so I'm never gonna stop using my laptop, my cell phone, and so on. But the key is you can actually get cases that will protect and offset these EMFs and make them safer devices. And that brings us to our sponsor message. DefenderShield.com has the most effective EMF radiation protection for laptops, tablets, and cell phones. If you go to their website, you'll see they have independent FCC certified lab testing that shows their technology blocks virtually 100% of harmful EMF radiation from electronic devices. Years ago, I bought their first product, which is the Defender Pad. I could use it kind of as a tabletop, put it on my lap, and then use my computer. So and stay safe. So I absolutely love this product, still use it to this day. A little while later, and when Griffin started getting a little bit more screen time, we got him this for our iPad. This again is a Defender Shield product. So if Griffin can have this on his lap, use this little device and be safe. And finally, the newest product I got from Defender Shield is this iPhone case. Um, so there's my phone. You can actually talk with the lid kind of closed like this, and it protects you from that EMF radiation. So right now, DefenderShield.com is offering a special discount for Mama Natural viewers. You get 10% off with any order with the coupon code Mama Natural, and they also ship for free anywhere in the U.S. Tip number four, stuff out that smart meter. 
Michael and I in our old place used to be in the master bedroom and about six months in we decided to move downstairs to the smaller room. And once we did that, we started noticing that we were having a hard time falling asleep, we were getting some headaches, and it finally dawned on me that outside of that bedroom, on the outside of the house, was a smart meter, and our heads were really close to it. And it really made a difference, I mean, because that thing does constantly emit EMFs. So we actually bought some shielding materials, you can find it on Amazon, and um, you know, kind of blocked that whole area of the wall, and it did make a big difference. So in your home, notice where your smart meter is. Is it right near your, you know, son's bedroom is it near your daughter's you know or is it attached to your garage where you have a safe distance um, if it is really close you can get some shielding materials or you can even call your gas company and get your digital machine changed to a manual one there will be a fee so that's your choice but that is an option for you so there you have it, four simple steps that you can implement that will help reduce your family's EMF exposure. Now, if you wanna learn more about this topic or if you're concerned or just want more tips and tricks, I have something for you. I put it together, it is a free cheat sheet. Um, it's 10 simple tips to help reduce your EMF exposure. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. And now I would love to hear from you. Do you know about EMFs? Do you do anything to protect your family? Do you even notice them? Are you sensitive to them? Share with me in the comments below.